Oh, hey there. Today, we're gonna give you five different reasons to get out of bed in the morning. So love does really exist and it's in the form of these overnight oat recipes that we're gonna be making today. They're all inspired by desserts, but they're wholesome enough to enjoy for breakfast. And we're gonna be making not one, not two, but five different overnight oat recipes. Today's video is also in partnership with our incredible friends over at Audible. We're gonna chat more about them at the end though. For now, let's dive right in. For the first recipe, we're making strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. So we're first gonna begin by heating up about a third of a cup of frozen strawberries, either on the stove or in the microwave. And when it's thawed, we're then gonna mash it a little bit with a fork, and then we're gonna let it sit and cool a little bit. Meanwhile, to a bowl, we're gonna add in about half of a cup of oats, along with half of a cup of plant-based milk, any kind of plant-based milk works here, two tablespoons of cashew butter, or you could use another nut or seed butter, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, and then a tablespoon each of ground flax seeds, and maple syrup, and then half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna give this all a stir. Just a heads up that we have a new recipe for cashew butter on the blog, if you'd like. It's just one ingredient, which is cashews. It's so easy to make, and it has a very lovely like caramel texture and consistency to it. So I'll leave that link for you in the description box below. But if you don't wanna make cashew butter, if you don't love it, use any nut butter or seed butter that you'd like here. So to our mason jar, we're gonna add the stewed berries in first followed by the oat mixture. You're gonna see that the stewed berries even kind of travel up the oats and give it a cool little tie-dye pattern. And then we're gonna pop the lid onto it and we're gonna put this in the fridge overnight. The next morning, we can add some plant-based yogurt on top of the oats and sprinkle on a little bit of granola if you'd like, just for a bit of extra crunch, and then you're ready to enjoy. So these recipes make a pretty generous portion, um, but everyone's got a different appetite. Maybe you want more, maybe you want less. So we have a new feature on our new website that allows you to scale recipes up or down, so be sure to check that out if you'd like. It's a super creamy breakfast that tastes so much like eating dessert. It's absolutely incredible. Next up, we're making an overnight oats for all the Black Forest cake lovers out there. So to a bowl, we're gonna add in half of a cup of oats and half of a cup of plant-based milk one tablespoon of ground flax seeds, and a tablespoon of cocoa powder, two tablespoons of almond butter, and a quarter teaspoon of optional almond extract, which could be swapped for vanilla extract. And then we're gonna mix this all together as well as possible. Then to make this taste like black forest cake, we're gonna use about a quarter of a cup of cherry pie filling that we're just gonna get from a can. And then we're gonna alternate between adding spoonfuls of the cherry pie filling to our jar and then adding the oats to the jar and just kind of going back and forth like this. And that's what kind of helps to create these beautiful little cherry pockets. But if you'd prefer, you could just add all of the ingredients to the bowl and give it all a stir all at once. It's gonna help you save some time. Then we're gonna pop the lid onto the jar and place it in the fridge overnight. So we've used cherry pie filling just to make this resemble black forest cake, but if you prefer, feel free to use any other fresh or frozen fruit that you've got. I feel like mango and peaches would work especially well here too. Then the next morning, we're already ready to dig into it. We're first gonna top it with some thick coconut yogurt and just a little bit of chocolate shavings. And if you love the combination of chocolate and cherries, then this breakfast recipe is so for you. It's really thick, creamy, super delicious. If we're being honest, we're adding it to jars just because it looks cute, but feel free to add it to a bowl or a storage container. It actually might make it easier to stir and even to eat out of in the morning. For the next recipe, we're making apple pie overnight oats. So we're gonna start out with one apple, cutting just over half of it into small little bite-sized cubes, and then we're gonna transfer those cubes to a small pan. To the pan, we can also add in about a tablespoon each of water, and maple syrup. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna place this on the stove on medium high heat. And then we're gonna let this cook for about eight minutes or so, or until the apples soften and your home smells like freshly baked apple pie. And we're gonna let this cool while we prepare the other half of the apple. So with the other half of the apple, we could either grate it or mince it really finely like we're doing here. And then we're gonna transfer it to our mason jar. And then to the jar, we can also add in half of a cup of oats and half of a cup of plant-based milk two tablespoons of almond butter, or you could use peanut butter, a tablespoon each of chia seeds, raisins, and we've got some chopped roasted walnuts that we're adding in, and half of a teaspoon each of ground cinnamon and vanilla extract. And then we're gonna mix this all together.
Once we've added the stewed apples to the top of the jar, we can then pop the lid onto it and then place these jars in the fridge overnight. So come morning, you could heat this up if you prefer to enjoy it warm. Otherwise, you can just top it with some yogurt and you're ready to enjoy it. The spiced bits of cooked apple are the best part. It really makes it taste like you're just enjoying apple pie straight out of a jar. For the next recipe, we're making this beautifully vibrant blueberry muffin overnight oats. So to a saucepan on medium-high heat, we're gonna add in about three quarters of a cup of frozen blueberries. We're gonna let this cook until it's fully thawed. Alternatively, you could also thaw it in the microwave. And then we're gonna use the back of our spatula to mash some of the berries, just to extract some of its juices. And then we're gonna set this aside to cool a little bit. Meanwhile, to a bowl, we can add in about half of a cup of oats and half of a cup of plant-based milk, along with one tablespoon each of ground flax seeds and maple syrup and some chopped roasted pecans, and then two tablespoons of cashew butter or any other nut or seed butter and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And we're gonna give this all a mix until it's super well combined. Now to our mason jar, we're gonna add in about half of our blueberries, and then on top of that, we can add the oats. For the topping, we're gonna add a third of a cup of plant-based yogurt, and then the remaining blueberries can go on top of that. And then using a spoon, we can give it a very gentle stir just to kind of give it a beautiful swirl pattern, but this is definitely optional. And then we're gonna pop the lid onto it and place this in the fridge overnight. Come morning, it's already ready to gobble up. You don't need to add anything to it. We're just adding some fresh blueberries for decoration, but there's more than enough fruit in the jar already, so just grab and go and enjoy. For the final recipe, we're making some chocolate chip cookie dough overnight oats. So to our mason jar or bowl or storage container, whatever you wanna use, we're gonna add in half of a cup each of oats and plant-based milk, along with two tablespoons of cashew butter or another nut or seed butter, one tablespoon each of chia seeds, maple syrup, and mini vegan chocolate chips, or you could use just some chopped up chocolate, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna give it all a mix we're gonna pop the lid onto it and place this in the fridge. So if you wanna take these overnight oats to the next level, you can make these small little cookie dough bites with it. It's so easy to make and no new ingredients are required. We're using the same ingredients we used to make the overnight oats. So to a bowl, we're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of oats, one tablespoon each of chocolate chips and cashew butter, and half of a tablespoon of maple syrup. And then once it's all mixed together, we're gonna use our hands to squeeze them into little balls. In the morning, when you're ready to enjoy this one, we can top our jar with a little cookie dough bites and some fresh fruit. I think raspberries go so well with it. And then your cookie dough in a jar is ready to enjoy, but it's in this super deliciously creamy form. This recipe is easily Robin's favorite of the bunch. When I gave him a little spoonful to try, he just took the jar from me and devoured the whole thing. So overnight oats are an awesome breakfast that you can make the night before and then you can enjoy it the next morning and hopefully that means you've got extra time in the morning to enjoy a little bit of extra sleep. When I was a student, getting four or five or six hours of sleep a night was really a norm uh, and even past being a student to be honest. So recently I started listening to an audiobook called Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. He's a scientist, a neuroscientist and it's an incredible audiobook that kind of goes into how and why it's so so important for us to get adequate sleep. Like, did you know that humans are the only species on earth that deprive themselves of sleep. So if you feel like you're someone who could stand to improve your sleep, it really helps with so many different things. Also just improving our memory, uh, improves you know when we learn something new, a skill helps us retain it. So he kind of explores how we can build an evening routine in order to better support our sleep, but also how we can create an environment that ensures that we have a nice and pleasant night's sleep. So if you think you might be interested in checking the audiobook out for yourself, you can get it for free or any other audiobook that you prefer by visiting audible.com forward slash pickuplimes plus Plus you'll get a 30 day free membership and members get access to the entire Audible Plus catalog, which is actually where you can go to to get thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, and guided fitness and meditation programs included in your membership 
and no extra fee. So be sure to check that out. I'll leave a link for you in the description box below. And in case you're interested in even more overnight oat recipes, we've done a previous video with five more recipes in that one. So I'll link it for you here and at the end of today's video in case you want to check it out. But thanks so much for hanging with us today. Really appreciate it. Pickle Plimes signing off. We'll see you in the next video. making today. I used to be an overnight oats skeptic, but this, I'll link uh, how to make it in the description box. Okay, no. And again. And again. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs>